Hello, hello and welcome. Today we are talking about multi-accolade OCR events. What are they? These are events that have been built into the yearly calendar of how to acquire a multi-part medal or a multi-part award or some bonus prize to you doing more of the particular franchise's events. Now, these can come in lots of different forms, whether they be a three, a two, a four, a five, but I've done plenty now, having done lots of OCR runs over time, and I'm here to talk about my favorites. Today, I'm not gonna get in too in depth about each of the particular runs. I'm just gonna highlight what they are, how far they are, what they roughly involve, show you what you actually get for finishing. Because ultimately it's about the bling, isn't it? I'm a very bling person. I like getting something at the end to say, you've accomplished this. As you can see from the medals behind me, I've done a few. So without any further ado, we're gonna move on to my first example of this, and that is the wolf run. So, the wolf run. Um, this event takes place over two locations, one in Leamington Spa and the other in Leicestershire. And they alternate. They alternate from spring, summer, autumn and winter, so seasonal runs. Um, so there's four in total and the accolade itself is called Alpha Wolf. Um, when you complete all four within one season, you are entitled to the tag Alpha Wolf which gets you a t-shirt much like this one, which is different to their regular t-shirts um, as it has Alpha Wolf on the back. And it is sort of the status of the most fielded OCR runners. Now, in addition to the regular t-shirts, which are fantastic by the way, Wolf Run um, have been putting out some of the best technical t-shirts for the best part of 12 years now. Um, they're always really well designed, they're different every single run. Uh, they don't include any sponsor branding or any of that. Each one is very, very robust. I still have the very first one I used, well one, and then in from 2011, and I've since used it many times back at Wolf Run, so it's been back through the mud more than once. And it's still something I would wear on a regular run. It's it just put it in the wash, all the crud comes out, and you're good to go. And I've got 18 of these t-shirts now, so getting one that says Alpha Wolf on it, it makes it just that little bit special. In addition, you get the coveted Alpha Wolf medal. It's, Wolf and don't do medals, not really, but unless you do the Alpha. There it is. It's a pretty nice piece of bling. In fact, it's the only piece of bling I've got from Wolfram because historically they've only ever given out t-shirts. So, Alpha Wolf. This is a great, great accolade to get. And I struggle to get it because being able to sign up to four throughout the year, the dates don't always line up. And having done 18 beforehand, uh, I just never got round to doing all four in a season. Not because not I couldn't, but because uh, the, the dates were conflicting with other things. Uh, and on the unfortunately, the time I got this was the very last time they were offering up the Alpha Wolf. Basically because COVID had reduced running numbers that they had to drop one of their events. So Winter Wolf, they're probably least subscribed to because it's cold, um, they have knocked that off the roster. So there's still the other three and out of the ashes of Alpha Wolf has risen the Trinity um, award which is if you do all three in a season so they've re replaced Alpha Wolf with Trinity I haven't yet done that but I know it's out there and it replaces the Alpha Wolf so if, if you're looking for three decent 10ks throughout April June and September I believe for the three respective races then you can get your I would imagine it's a Trinity t-shirt and a Trinity medal really good event certainly for newbies to OCR um, you won't be disappointed. The next one I want to talk about is Tough Mudder. Now, Tough Mudder has been one of the staples of the OCR world for many, many years. In fact, I did the very first one back in 2012, I believe, in the UK, that is. Um, now, they've been through their ups and downs as a franchise, um, and they used to do good quality 30-mile OCRs and they were they were very fabricated OCRs so what I mean by that is all of their obstacles are generally uh, 
built, put on a truck and transported around to different locations. And they're very man-made and they're, they're, they're very, very designed to strike fear into you. So we're talking uh, ice submergence, we're talking electricity, more than once the electric key or the sort of the one that you run through that you see on the internet of people falling on their faces. Um, so I did three of these. Um, I did the one in 2012, 2013 and 2014, it's some time ago, um, and I very much enjoyed them to a point. Um, by the time I got to my second one, I realised that there was something called Legionnaires, which sounds like a disease, uh, but it is in fact for people that have done it more than once. So as you return each time, you get a different coloured headband. So this, the orange one is the the typical one you get when you finish your first one uh, and then you progress through the various colours and they, they continue to go up and up and up 10, 15, 20 because people obviously love doing them. Um, they, this is an example of the t-shirt. Um, it's a technical t-shirt uh, with quite big particular branding on it. Uh, where these t-shirts fall down in, and why I don't generally wear them day to day or training or running is um, just the gross amount of sponsorship and branding that exists. And this one's kind of a, um, not too bad of an example of it, but uh, as, as the, sh uh, I chose this one because it's probably one of the better ones. Uh, as time went on, you just had all the various cliff bars and uh, drink sponsors and things like that that were, that were just plastered all over it and they just didn't like the t-shirts. They're a bit they're a bit generic, they're all one sort of cut and fit um, and they're just to sort of uh, please you as you go over the line. You do get a beer at the end, um, I don't know if that's still a thing um, but I always used to appreciate the beer that they give you at the very finish line. So to conclude uh, these are the Tough Mudder accolades. Um, you don't get a medal, unfortunately, so it's a t-shirt and headband combination and a beer. Rat Race Trinity. This is the uh, Rat Race's flagship Trinity Award. Um, I got this in 2019, uh, and I'll explain what this is in a second. Um, the events, are threefold. So you've got Manverse Coast, Manverse Lakes, and Manverse Mountain. You do all three in a year and you get three sections of a bigger medal. You get your main medal and then you get a segment as well. Handed to you as you finish, everybody does. Um, these are not necessarily OCRs per se, they are more a I would class them in a breed of run completely separate and I would categorize it myself as an adventure run. Okay, so it's significantly further in distance, it's significantly harder in gradient, it's over all sorts of terrain and often has interactions with water, so submergences in and out of the sea, in and out of lakes, um, full submergences, half submergences, and it, it goes on like that. So you go through the run expecting to get wet, to get muddy, uh, but it's also far, it's also high, and it's also hard. Each of these runs has significant gradient, um, and the shortest of which is 23 miles. So it, do, do not take it lightly. Um, I found Manverse Coast just stunning. Running around Cornwall in the beautiful sunshine, in and out of the sea, beautiful. Uh, Manverse Lakes was a phenomenal uh, event um, and it starts off with you running across Morecambe Bay at low tide, sort of knee deep, um, and it is an outstanding start to a race, to a 32 mile effort over some of the Lake District's most ridiculous hills. Uh, in, and then you go in and out of Windermere, um, you know, you, and you sort of weave through the hills and the lakes and you eventually finish. Uh, it is just such, a, just such an effort. Um, and then finally, Manby Mountain, which starts off at Carnarfon Castle and weaves all the way up to the summit of Snowdon, touch the top, come all the way back down to Lamberis. And you think you're done there, you'd think that would be enough, but no, you head back up the other side of the valley into the slate mines uh, for something they uh, have called the vertical kilometer which is a kilometer of pretty steep up um, and then just when you think you're done uh, 
they throw in three or four obstacles. So uh, in, in particular to the Man V Mountain, you end up tombstoning off of a high platform into a quarry. So that's pretty chilly water. Straight out of that into a kayak or a rappel. Uh, and then after that, you're going down a slide, more water crossings before you're allowed to then finish. So like I said, you get, you do get a medal and you do get a segment and you do get a t-shirt. Now, while they're their medals and segments are quite good. The t-shirts are really quite disappointing. They, they're kind of generic, they're not event specific, uh, and you, you can find yourself going to multiple events and getting the exact same t-shirt the second time. Um, I think there's lots of people that would have appreciated Man V Mountain t-shirts on Man V Lakes. Uh, post pandemic, when having stuff manufactured abroad became difficult, they swapped out for laser cut wood. Um, so from now on, if you did a rat race event, you'd likely get one of these sort of oversized, um, lightweight wood medals. Now, I don't particularly like them because they don't really match everything else in the rack, uh, all the other medals. Um, and having seen quite a few accidents uh, on the internet where dogs find them and chew them to pieces, it's not a good selling point when you, your dog's eating your medal. Um, so yeah, uh, it will still sit up there with all my other medals. I've got a couple more of these wooden ones up there as well. Um, but rat race, fantastic event, fantastic tri-piece medal. The event medals and t-shirts just need a little bit of work. The, the last thing to say is, unfortunately, this particular tr Trinity is no longer available. Basically, again, reduced numbers after COVID has meant that Manby Lakes succumbed. It was the, the event that was knocked off, thus breaking the ability to do a Trinity. And next year, 2023, Man V Mountain will also cease, leaving only Man V Coast, a standalone event. So obviously no multi-part medal there. Though there are rumblings on the internet that there is a new multi-event coming. So we'll keep our eye out for that. And if there is, I will be drawn to it like a moth to a flame. Nuclear races, medallion. The Nuclear Races Medallion. This is a three-piece medal, one, two, three, that all joined together by magnets. How cool is that? Unbelievable. Um, as you can see, there is at the heart of it something called the medallion. Uh, this is something that is awarded to everyone who has competed in the Rush event, 12K or 7K. Um, in May, uh, then there is the, uh, so which one's the Rush? Um, oh, there it is. So there's the Rush one, and then there's the Blast event, which uh, occurs in September, and that is a 5K obstacle dense lap that you can do as many times as long as you start it within a two hour window. So if you get to one hour 59, you go again, no matter how long that last lap takes. Um, uh, we did three laps in that time, thoroughly enjoyed it, and I've done two of these by now. Um, and this year, I then subscribed to the final race, which is in November, called Fallout, and you get the last piece, and the medallion becomes available. And you can connect them all up together and make this sort of mega power range of medallion, where they're all joined up and make a mega medallion. Mega medallion. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, it is a whopping piece of bling. And I was obviously gravitating toward this. Two events, Rush and Blast. You, at Rush you get uh, a t-shirt and in Blast you get a vest. Um, they do quite like you to run in them. So um, they give them to you before you run. You, it's not one of these where you get it at the end. Uh, so what you generally see out on the event is lots and lots of uh, self-branding going on. And that's very clever, because obviously you want people running in, say, a uh, nuclear top rather than say a wolf run top at your event. It just makes sense. Certainly from like a publicity perspective, taking pictures, video and everything, it's, it's just far better to see people running around your event in your stuff. Very clever. So as a, so the, 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 the events themselves are very well run. Um, they're held down in Essex. Um, it's quite a drive for me, it's over two hours. Um, but we love the event so much that we have signed up already to rush and blast next year. I'll probably end up doing Fallout because then I'll 
get another one of these, which is really, really, really quite good. Anyway, so this is Nuclear Races Accolade. Last but not least, it's Spartan Race. Now, Spartan Race has been going on for some years and is, is, is considered the leading OCR in the world. It's in all the countries, uh, it's, it, it is everywhere, uh, and it is a, a very standardized, very well run, uh, very bling heavy event. Um, it is probably considered more of a, an obstacle race because that's exactly what it is. Every every couple of hundred meters, you've got a physical obstacle that's been built to test you um, over a variety of different to sort of disciplines, from throwing to lifting to hanging, um, and they exist over three different distances for the most part. And there's a there's a fourth option as well, so four di different distances, but three make up the uh, trifecta medal, which is what they call their uh, multi accolade. So the first one if you're doing it sort of traditionally is the beast it's normally held on a saturday of say a weekend uh, and it's 13 mile it really feels like a, an effort it's that sort of good effort though um it's often held in an area of land that's quite hilly has a, a variety of terrain woods and fields and path and road and um then they, they just dot their opticals all around it often held in sites like stately homes and things like that um, and when you finish, um, so, so the beast is the 30 mile, then there's the, uh, the next day, the next morning, they will run a reduced version of the same course called the Super, which is a 10k sort of reduced down version of the beast. So it will just disclude some of the, uh, well, half of it almost. Uh, and you still get to do all of the sort of prime obstacles. Um, there's sort of an, and then finally in the afternoon of the Sunday, there is the 5k version called the sprint. It's designed to give people, uh, it's sort of an entry level way into OCR. You don't just sign up to beast straight away. If, if you're relatively new to OCR, relatively new to running, then you would, you would gravitate towards the 5k only once you then progress your running, your skills, your fitness, and you move it up to 10k and then eventually the beast. And then you, you try and do all three. Um, and that brings me back to the medal, the medals, should I say. Like I said, this is a bling, bling heavy event. So for finishing your beast, which is the greens, you get a green one. For finishing your super, which is the blue, uh, and then you get 25 obstacles at the super, and then you get 20 obstacles at the sprint. So you get, you get a really decent sized, well-made, hefty medal for finishing, right? But if you do all three of these, you get three sections of a segment, which then build, and this can be done inside of a year, uh, you get three segments that build up to create the trifecta medal. And then should you want to go one extra and walk away with even more medals, um, if you do all three of these in the same weekend, which I did, uh, you get the uh, Shield Weekend Trifecta. So it's, it's just an extra piece. So you can walk away from a single, a single weekend with all of this. Okay, the bling is second to none. It is the best there is in OCR. I have yet to, to see anything that beats this. I mean, the medallion comes close. Um, but this is unbelievable. Next year, I'll be doing three of these. Um, so I hope to have the triple trifecta. It's just, it's just what I've set a goal for myself. Um, in addition to these, you get a t-shirt at the end. Um, this is a prime example of the t-shirt. And I do like these t-shirts, these sort of soft fit. Uh, they, they do fit quite well. Um, the problem is I wouldn't ever train in these. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily wear them casually either. I'd probably wear them to bed like pajamas because they're soft. Uh, but I, I really wish Spartan would, would change their design to something a little bit more technical. So people can train it, can run in it. It can go in and out of mud. They can wear them in their own events. 
Um, it's, it's the penny clearly hasn't dropped yet, but that's what's missing. They need a, an, an event t-shirt that people can use at the event. Um, so, but that takes away nothing from this event. Absolutely nothing. It is a fantastic couple of days. When you finish, you are battered, you are bruised, but you have been tested and you have succeeded. All of this bling feels well earned. So we've been through Wolf Run, Tough Mudder, Rat Race, Nuclear Races, and finally Spartan Races. All of these events are fantastic, and I, re I recommend them all on their own merit. Um, they're all worth doing, um, and most of them are still around, or of ver a variation of of their sort of multi accolade is still around. Um, and in the future, there'll be new ones as well. Um, but they are a fantastic motivator. If you find yourself in a position where you've signed up to one or two, and there's another one or another two, get signed up to them all. I know it's easier said than done, but once you finish them all and you get this extra little piece of metal, you will feel proud of yourself. Uh, I, I certainly do. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it useful. And I do hope you sign up to your own multi-event accolade soon. Um, anyway, please like and subscribe down below. These, these numbers really help me keep going, uh, keep making videos. And one day in the not too distant future, maybe I'll be making even more. Uh, so thank you for watching, uh, Mart out.